I want to talk for just a minute now about management thinking styles. And this is very interesting. I'm going to talk about several different styles very quickly. Um, management thinking generally is process driven. What you want to, the, the, what this slide says to you is that thinking at management levels, and they're trained to do this, is process oriented. And so what we're saying here is essentially that ideas and problems are divided up into chunks, pieces, the one, two, three, four, five thing you see there. And then, then the experienced manager or leader moves those things around, combines them, and changes them and to come up with solutions, answers, ideas, better questions. But it's a process they learn. Ever work for an engineer, you know exactly what I'm talking about, an engineering type. They carry a notebook with them. And while you're talking, while they're discussing these, they're writing down the chart of ideas and things like this in very structured fashion. The arrow going down is for time. They've learned that over time, they manipulate these components you see on the left-hand side to come up with solutions, answers, better ideas, and questions. Um, Then, of course, um, there's there's us. there we go. Intuitive, we're the intuitive thinkers, and the intuitive thinking part of this has to do with the fact that you know we, we our brain is more like a wastebasket, right? It's filled with all kinds of stuff. Uh, whoops, um, and um, uh, I don't think I can do it on this slide, but uh, just 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 imagine yourself, and you've, you've got the materials in front of you. You just put little dots and dashes in here. These, this is what's in our brain. Just stuff we store for what for for use in the future. And whenever we're asked a question or we have a deadline, bam, we put this stuff together and something comes out. And the bosses are amazed by it. But, again, the issue for them and for us is where did this come from? What did this come from? I admire the guy. He's really, he's really good at this. The girls, the, you know, the, the, his advisor, Mary, is a pretty sharp person. I just don't understand how they do these things. And the reason they don't understand is because it's not process-driven. Um, this is the strategic the Mind of a Strategist. This is from a book called The Mind of a Strategist by Kenichi Omi, a very famous Japanese-American um, uh, consultant. Um, I, I, I wanted to read this book. It was recommended to me highly. I could not understand this book. I just couldn't understand it. It was too dense. But on page 44, there was this chart, and it compares the minds, uh, the kinds of minds we're talking about. On the left-hand side, it shows the mechanical systems thinker or the process thinker. This is the management. And how, this is the steps in how they make decisions, okay? And you can see how structured it is from top to bottom. It doesn't really change much. It's, you know, it's just like moving the deck chairs a little bit, you might say. In the center is the intuitive thinker. That's us. And, you know, we, we're all in the top box in illustration. I'm just analyzing the same problem, okay, in three ways. So what what we do when we're as intuitive thinkers is we 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 the first step once we get see a problem is we get to search our brain to focus on the things in our brain that might be helpful. That's the second box, and then we try to fi- figure out what the one or two things are that might be most helpful. And at the bottom, you'll see that bullet there by itself is the big idea. It's the uh, you know it's the grand slam. It's uh, you know it's that it's that. Um, silver bullet, which rarely works, um, uh, interestingly enough. And on the right-hand side is the mind of the strategist, okay? Notice how different it is from everything else. It's different on purpose. Uh, the second box shows a different way of deconstructing every problem. Every problem they look at would look different in this box on purpose. They don't want to do it the way he, they were taught to do it. They don't want to do it the way other people have done it. They want to do it differently in every case. Then the third box, they are disassembling the pieces to see what that looks like, so to speak. And then the product at the end looks nothing like the problem at the beginning, looks nothing like anybody else's solutions either. And holy cow, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually, it actually is, has fewer parts than the, the pieces up above. This is what strategists do. The goal is to come up with something different on purpose and intentionally. Uh, there's one other kind of thinking, which is interesting, too. Um, it's called lateral thinking. And um, it was invented by a guy in Britain uh, some years ago, a man named De Bono. And if you ever, you ever get a chance to read any of his books uh, on thinking, lateral thinking, this is the heart of what he's talking about. Again, intentionally different. Think about everything oppositely. 
uh, from an opposite perspective, you know, be outrageous, take a chance. That was his thing. Um, and be purposefully unusual. This is his phrase, purposefully unusual. Um, and again, be different on purpose. Uh, when you look at yourself after this broadcast, you need to begin thinking about how do we, how do I shift my thinking to be more surprising, more interesting, um, more useful, more helpful, so to speak. Um, uh, let me just quickly close this portion best by talking about what authentic thinking is. Authentic thinking is, it is loyal and direct. We've talked about this, candor. It's positive and candid. It's insightful and constructive. That means we're always talking in positive terms. We're always advising in constructive ways. It's story-based with self-evident truth. This is what stories deliver. They deliver truths and understanding. And most of all, whatever we, we, we propose, it's doable, it's achievable, it's gettable, it's knowable. This is what bosses really want to hear. So, uh, John, or, uh, uh, perhaps with that we should stop for a moment and ask for questions or ideas. <laughs> 